Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we will be installing power folding mirrors on the all track with blind spot monitoring. I've been wanting to do this modification for quite some time now to install the power folding, electrically folding mirrors on the all track. But the issue I was having is I have blind spot monitoring on this car and I had to get mirrors that were specifically with blind spot monitoring. You can only get the kit on uh, AliExpress for uh, without blind spot monitoring. And if you want it with blind spot monitoring, you will have to order from like Deutsche Auto Parts. It's like a thousand dollars US, super expensive. So what I ended up doing here is I actually ended up going on the German eBay, so eBay.de, and I found a set of original OEM used mirrors, which are power folding with blind spot monitoring. As you can see here, blind spot monitoring. I have the switch, the new switch for the door, uh, for the folding option, that will need to be installed as well. And as you can see, they came with uh, carbon fiber, OEM carbon fiber mirror caps from the factory. So this was 600 euros, about 750 Canadian, way better than spending $1,000 US on uh, mirrors with the driver's assistance package from like Deutsche Auto Parts, and they don't even come with uh, caps. So I was lucky to find these, ordered them right away, and... Today we can finally start the install and complete it. Now just a quick side note for you guys, if you have a base model, you will need to upgrade the door controllers. You will need to upgrade the door controllers to the high line version or the exact line, whatever your trim level is. I was lucky enough that I don't need to do that because I already have the top trim all track, which comes with driver's assistance package. So. This will simply be plug and play with no swapping of any modules. A good rule of thumb is if you open the door and you have leather seats, you have doors with leather door cards, you have blind spot monitoring, it's, it means that you do have a high line or an exact line, so you don't need to worry about swapping any door controllers. There is one tutorial on YouTube by another guy who buys the cheap Chinese uh, $250 mirrors from AliExpress, which are power folding, and he takes his original blind spot monitor mirrors and wires, and he fishes the wire out, and he disassembles the mirror. It, it can be done with the cheap Chinese kit if you have the blind spot monitoring, but it's super involved, it requires a lot of labor and a lot of taking shit apart and hoping that it doesn't break. I didn't want to do that. I just want it simple, in and out. So that's what we're doing today. So let's get started. So tools we're going to be using to take the door panel off is a uh, T30 with an extension, 10 millimeter wrench, and a variety of trim popper tools. Also a bonus if you have one of these magnet grabber tools because sometimes the bolt inside the door panel there gets stuck and it doesn't want to come out with just the T30 so it's a bonus if you have this magnetic grabber to reach in there and pull it out. Okay, now that you have all the hardware removed from the door, 
what I like to do is I like to grab a fat trim popper tool like this, go into this corner, pop one of the clips out. Then when you have enough space to get your fingers in there, after the hole is wide enough, you just pry the door carefully all along with your fingers and then pull up because this part sits uh, in a slot where the window goes down. Now, after you got the door panel popped off, you're gonna have to reach your hand in here and um, remove various connectors. Here's the door latch. Pull this tab and lift up. There's these. Squeeze and pull. Couple other ones here. You have the door panel out, now what? Well, there's two of these T30s holding on the mirror. Um, then you need to use your right angle pick here like this. You need to unplug this connector from the door controller. Remove this grommet, remove this grommet, and then you're gonna fish this wire out through this hole and out where the mirror comes out. And you will need to unplug this connector for the blind spot monitoring as well. This guy right here. Use the right angle pick like so. Push down on the bottom tab and then it just pulls right out. Okay, so now before you start pulling these grommets and starting to fish out these two wires, have a piece of fishing line or a specialty tool like I have, which goes like this. locks it in place and then it's way easier uh, when you're reinstalling the new mirror to get everything through these holes. And then step two, remove this uh, green clip that's clipped in from the back. Next, you're gonna push this grommet inside. You're going to push this grommet inside and you're gonna feed these wires through. Just like that. After that, go on top, unbolt these two, and then you can pull the mirror right out. All right guys, so the old mirror has been removed, as you can see. When you're fishing it out of the door, be careful not to tug on any wires if you're planning on reselling these. So take a good look inside there Make sure none of these are being tugged or ripped apart because it's uh, very easy to break them. Grab your new mirror, bolt it up, leave one bolt loose in there for now, and uh, also make sure that these holes are as straight as possible when you're installing the mirror. So take your right angle pick and uh, kind of line it up as best you can, and then fish the wires through. right here, which I have done. Plug the connector back in where you took it apart. Plug the blind spot monitor back in. And uh, having this grommet open really helps. Okay, next we need to install the new door switch and mirror switch on the door. You can see on the new one, it has four of these white tabs this one's a bit fucked, but should still work. Um, has four tabs and uh, it just snaps right in. You can get those tabs from the back. Just use your trim popper tool, push on those white tabs. And then this just comes out from this side like that. And the new one you install the same way. Grab your new German switch. Install into the door panel like so. Make sure everything is flush. Make sure everything is lining up nicely. Just pop it into place. Just like that. Have a feel with your hands. Make sure it's nice and flush. 
All right, I just had the door panel back on and the mirror is fully installed, locked into place, tightened down. All the wires have been routed correctly as they were from the factory. A couple of pro tips I'll give you guys to make sure that your work is top, top quality is right here. So as you can see, the door panel is back on. Um, installation is pretty much the reversal of removal. Pro tip, like I was saying, is when you have this all back on and bolted down, check your gaps. Feel them with your finger, make sure they're all even. Make sure the door panel is sitting nice and flush all the way around because we don't want creaks or rattles or um, the door panel being pulled all the way when we go to close the door. Number two, the mirror is fully installed as you can see. When you're tightening these two bolts, make sure to have one hand right here and press down as hard as you can. The reason for that is, if you look right here, you see this gasket right here. If you don't hold it down, the gasket will have a huge gap and you will have a water leak inside your door. So make sure that you're pushing this down as hard as you can when you're tightening up those bolts to make sure that gasket is 100% flush with the paint. You don't want any water leaks. So guys, I'm going to do the passenger side now. I'm not going to bother showing it to you guys because it's the exact same thing as the driver's side. So we're just going to skip right to the coating. As for the old mirrors, they're still worth a good chunk of money, especially if they have the blind spot monitor. So you can sell these or you can keep these in case your blind spot monitor mirror light burns out. Then you can just swap the glass nice and easy. But uh, yeah, up to you guys. Okay, after the install has been complete, plug in your VCDS or OBD11 and have it ready to go. In my case, it's VCDS. Now we're going to go to select control module. We're going to go to driver side door electronics. We're going to go to coding. We're gonna go to long coding helper. Ignore all the warnings. Now we're going to go on byte four. We're gonna go to bit four, check mirror folding installed and go down a bit six, mirror comfort folding active, check that. Now you're gonna exit out of here. Your new coding is here. Do it. Coding accepted. And now you do the same thing for the passenger side uh, door. Just select the passenger side door control module and it's the exact same process. The last thing you need to do is log into the controller 9 central electronics and you're going to have to change a bunch of uh, German adaptations here from not active to active so what we're going to do is we're going to change the menu uh, where you can select your folding mirrors when you're locking your car with the key and then uh, we're going to select a bunch of other options to activate everything when we're locking unlocking mirrors fold unfold stuff like that very important I'm not going to go through this because this is super boring, but I will link it down in the description exactly what you need to change. After you go through all the coding changes, you should see this setting now in the menu. So go ahead and just check that. And now the mirrors should fold when you lock the door. Okay, guys, moment of truth. There we go. That's so sick. So that is how you guys do the install. I hope this video was informative and helped you guys a bit. I hope you guys enjoyed the tips and tricks. There you go. Stay tuned for another video and I will catch you guys in the next one.